Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Denver, Colorado, with Regan Benson, a.k.a. the Demented Banshee of Colorado. Yeah, that's right. I'm actually covering Regan Benson for once. I mean, I rarely ever do it because you uh, know what? Uh, well, I can't really cover her because my ears are way too sensitive. She might bust my eardrums. And I know what it's like to have a busted eardrum. I've already had one student do that to me a couple of years ago. And I never want that to happen again because it is just, well, annoying as can be. But I am just going to go ahead and make an exception for her on this occasion because she just got arrested again. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Say that. Whoever this person is, make sure she doesn't show up. What's the fine? How much money they want, Shannon? <laughs> you, <laughs> I'm not giving you legal advice, but read the small print. <laughs> Boy, aren't they something. Aren't they something over there in Inglewood? All right, lady, go do your thing. I'll see you soon. Okay, bye-bye. Did anybody hear that? Uh, yeah, it seems like you were giving out legal advice when you are not licensed to do so, which basically means, once again, you are committing some sort of crime. And from what I understand, you are already under investigation for that same exact thing. So why are you continuously committing the same types of crimes? Guess you're just one of those people who thinks they're above the law. Oh wait, you're a frauditor. Of course you believe that you're above the law. <laughs> Shannon's Inglewood case. <laughs> so the attorney who said that he was going to appear <laughs> is no longer going to appear. <laughs> it's another attorney in his firm. The guy that didn't show up in the first place, that's going to be Shannon's public defender. <laughs> you guys, I can't make this stuff up. Ian Griffin, Ian Griffin has been taken off of the case and a, a new city prosecutor <laughs> has been put into place. <laughs> His name's Sergio and uh, Shannon's new attorney, <laughs> new attorney, who's the old attorney who never showed up to court, <laughs> said, whoever that woman is, don't bring her. <laughs> because we don't want to piss off this guy. But he has no clue what's in her discovery. None. Remember, they were going to get that discovery that day. We went over there. I gave Shannon a ride over to that office. And that flush dude stood right there in front of us and said, oh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to go get your discovery tomorrow. <laughs> Or no, today. We're, I'm sending so-and-so over there today at 2 o'clock to get your discovery. So it's been Shannon's responsibility to connect with her public defender who's contracted. <laughs> you guys, this is what I'm talking about. These are your tax dollars at work. It's so stupid. All you can do is laugh. Let's go get some stickers, shall we? You know, little Miss Banshee, normally I would be laughing at your stupidity. But uh, not today. I just don't see the humor in anything you have to say. But let's go ahead and carry on because uh, let's see what this me gibbering mental patient has to say. That probably will make me laugh later on down the line. Let's go get some stickers. Here we go. I want to ask Ian how the investigation's going. <laughs> is anybody curious how the investigation is going? <laughs> By the Attorney Regulation Council? 
for having me investigated for uh, the unauthorized practice of law. This is District 3, y'all. What do you think? Big, beautiful building. You digging it? Pretty fancy stuff, right? This is a government building. All fancy and stuff. Okay, there's a key moment coming up here in just a second where I'm just going to slow it down and then stop it just so you guys can see her real screw up in this video. Something she didn't even bother to read. A sign that pops up for a brief moment that she just ignores. This is not the location to obtain a police report. And there you go, the sign that says it all. Uh, no recording unless you have the permission of the police chief. Did you get permission from the police chief to record in there? No, of course not, because you're going to complain that it's against the First Amendment. And I know the argument's already, uh, this is a public building. You're not going to be able to trespass me because it's a public building. Wrong again. As many frauditors as I've seen trespass from public buildings, it should be clear by now that, well, you're always wrong on that issue. Oh, it's not. <sighs> they have a big meeting room. Here it is, community room. Here you go. The moths are bad right now. See all those moths? We're in the public lobby of the District 3 Denver Police Department where Sergeant O'Neill uh, resides. This is his home. This is Sergeant O'Neill's home. Um, here are your District 3 Community Resource Officers. There you go. There's the public information for you. I've dealt with her. She's uh, pleasant and thorough. Can I Isn't she pretty? She's scaring me. Did Cordova give you the wrong medication, um, little Miss Banshee? Because did I hear a compliment? Were you mellow enough to, uh, well, give a compliment at all? Because normally I hear you complaining about tyrants everywhere. Tyrants this, tyrants that. Uh, yeah, so he must have slipped something in your drink just to mess with you. I want to know where that Here's their cab meetings. This is the commander advisory board meeting. I've, I've been to one. I didn't stay. Um, they're pretty worthless. And and District 4 forbids me. Um, they pulled some uh, First Amendment violations on me <laughs> over in District 4. Told me I was no longer allowed to attend their cab meetings until further notice. And that was about almost two years ago. I'm still waiting to hear back on that. <laughs> Yeah, I should probably sue him for that. Uh, so, where are we? June 7th is the next one here. Okay. I doubt I'll come.
Hi. So that program for registering your vehicle, what's that called? The Denver, Denver Track. Track. So. Okay, thank you. And then, do I do it here? I can register here, right? That's what they've been advertising, that you can just go into a, a district and, and, and do the registration. You registered online. online. You have to you do it online. On your phone? I'm sorry? Are you recording on your phone? Am I recording? Yes. Yeah. You're not allowed to record in this. Oh, sure I am. No, you're not. It's posted right No, there. I can record. A sign doesn't make it law. You know that, yes, right? It no, it isn't. Okay, Regan, here's a little thought experiment for your uh, flawed reasoning. You say that uh, signs are not laws. Well, what if you encounter a sign that uh, has some of the uh, amendments posted on it, especially the 10th Amendment? Is that a lawful sign, or is it uh, fake? But given your reasoning, all signs are uh, not lawful, therefore you're calling the Constitution, in this case, unlawful since it is on a sign. Whew, I'm glad not everybody uses your brand of logic, otherwise we'd all be screwed. Okay, yeah. well, hang so, tight for me then. I'll be back. What's that? Hang tight for me, I'll be back. Okay, do you have any stickers? Oh, they're gonna make an issue out of me recording in the lobby because there's a sign. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. I can't record my government. Well, I need to go to the bathroom, so let's get that done first. He's going to leave. He's stomping off. Oh yeah, remember District 4 wrote a warrant for me for recording in the lobby and the DA um, dropped that case in the interest of justice. Stay tuned. Hang tight though, we're gonna go into the bathroom. You gotta go into my, you gotta go into my wallet. Hang tight. Well guys, we have to tolerate her screaming uh, on occasions, but we are not going to tolerate sitting here listening to those noises that come out of uh, the other side of our body. So let's just go ahead and skip on ahead to the next portion of the video. Many unbearable hours later. Sorry about that. <sighs> Nobody in here. He went storming off. Isn't going to help me. That's interesting. So does everybody just leave like they do? And now over in District 4, they're very welcoming again. Well, they've invited us in several times while filming. We've been in there and filmed our interactions a few times over in District 4. Um, a sergeant actually invited Denver Metro Audits and I, and wasn't that you, Aurora? Transparency in there one night. And uh, said, yeah, I'll record all you want. Oh, there's a little lost dog. So you can post your stuff here. You just can't record here. But you can post your lost doggy flyers. Lost dog Rosie, do not approach. She's very shy and afraid. She will run away. Oh, that's like um, what they do here. Originally lost on 5-1 on 17th and Fillmore, last seen. 5-1 on Calumet and Alameda. Oh, that's not a good place. Oh, brown and white, 11 pounds. That's too bad. This is District 3. We are in District 3. Indeed we are. But uh, District 4, I mean, we don't usually come over here to District 3. Um, we just haven't had that many issues with District 3. 
until now, I guess, with O'Neill and so everybody left. Nobody's gonna help me. Yeah, little Miss Banshee, they're gonna help you out here in a few minutes. In fact, they're gonna help you out by putting you in a shiny new pair of bracelets and uh, take you to jail because. Well, it's posted on the saw on the door out there that uh, you're not supposed to be filming, and since you think that uh, you're above the law, they're gonna prove to you that you're not above the law. So have fun with that. Well, that's interesting. I got a couple more questions. I'd like to. Do you know if he was coming back? I'm sure he is. He's on duty. Okay. What was his name? It's uh, Corporal Ingram. Corporal Ingram. Thank you. Corporal Ingram. He's a corporal. And he's acting like that. Interesting. Look at all the Miller moths. It's moth season. There was some article on why you shouldn't kill moths. Well, um, I'm sorry, but when they're in the house, um, you have to put out some soapy water. If they're out in the garden, that's fine. That's where they belong. Corporal Ingram. So, to get started to register for Denver Track, scan this QR code below. Decal application instructions. See, right? This is what I was asking for. It's protected, tracked. I just really thought that it would make sense if I just had the sticker on the car. I mean, that's a, a theft deterrent. So it's a legitimate question. Look, can I can I have this piece of taxpayer supported stuff um, that I, I want to put on my vehicle to fit your narrative of being a, a, a crime deterrent? I think that's a fair question. Oh my God, who the hell cares? Are they bringing out these folks to arrest me? Hi. Hi. So it is unlawful as the unlawful I told you to report in the district station. Look, it's O'Neill. Yep. So let's look at the sign right here. Hi. Hi. Reader. What you coming up behind me for? No, I don't think you're going to allow Why y'all coming up behind me? You are subject to arrest. If you don't turn off the phone, you're going to jail. If I don't turn off my phone, I'm going to jail. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you again. Okay, O'Neill. Are you aware that... Good job, Ingram. I've already been charged with this. Okay. It's been dismissed. Okay. So... Way to go, Ingram. Afraid of the people, mm -hmm. huh? <clears throat> Afraid of the people. Do you have anything else on here? Anything as in? Okay. Anything in your pockets? You have a bra on? That kind of thing? Anything in your bra? Do I have a bra on? Yeah. Does it look like I have a bra on? Well, now that I look, yes. What's up, O'Neill? Feeling a little vindictive today, are ya? No? Good job, Ingram. What are you taking my jewelry off for? This isn't where we take the jewelry off. This is where I take the jewelry off. Really? Yeah. And you just broke it. It's not broken. Broke it. That's a stone, a fragile stone. You it's stupid bitch. What's your name? Padilla? Padilla? K. Padilla? Yeah. You stupid bitch. You getting a kick out of it, O'Neill? Hate the First Amendment, do you? You stupid. You another available card? Yes. Yeah, stupid. You stupid. You're gonna look like a ass clown, as if you haven't already enough. All right. So let's go put her back in the. What are you doing with my stuff? I'll do it for now. Don't you touch.
Don't you touch my phone. You're turning my phone off. You don't turn my phone off. Hi, Amy. Would you take my phone, please? I will. I'll take your belongings. Yeah, take there you go. My wallet. I need my ID out of there. Come on. You know how it goes. Give me my ID. Um, yeah. Do you want her to take your jewelry? I need you to tell me on camera if yeah, you want me to take. I want her to take my shit. I need her you got it. I don't know. Amy? So I'm 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 leaving. I'll call Bo. I'll see ya. All right. Well, Regan just got arrested. Yes, she got arrested, and in no small part, it was all due to her own stupidity and her belief that she's. Well, at least the average fraudulent belief that they are uh, a version of Rosa Parks. Well, let me tell you something, Regan. You are no Rosa Parks, and you are not exactly a freedom fighter. You are just a stupid person who, with uh, the delusions of grandeur. Okay, then, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Now.